Have you guys ever wondered how to create a ghost effect in Premiere Pro? Well, that's what I'm going to show you today, and this is what it's going to look like. Alright guys, so you want to learn how to create a ghosting effect in Premiere Pro CC 2018. So, let's get to it. First off, you're going to have your clip. My clip is my good friend Jake running across the field here. So we're going to try to ghost Jake so that another offset of him is running behind him here. So first things first is you're going to want to create a copy of this clip and drag it exactly over top of it. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to come to the opacity of this and we're going to drop it down to let's say 50%. Nothing should change because you have the 100% below it. Come over, search for transform, apply it to your top clip, and we are going to move the X axis over. Now, as you can see here, that the underlying clip is our original, and that's at 100%, and then we have the overlying clip, which is at 50% opacity. So if I change this, it'll go away, or I can make it the top clip. So we're at right now gonna keep it at about 50 and we want to position Jake to be eh, a little ways away from him so maybe right there perfect all right so this is pretty much the effect except you have a ghost of everything in your clip which you might not want unless the background is completely white or one solid color so in this case what we're gonna have to do is I'm going to untoggle the bottom clip so I can see this first clip and we are going to have to create a mask around Jake. And for this tutorial, I'm gonna create a very brief mask, but let's do it. We are going to create this mask here. And if you haven't seen my masking tutorial, I would go and check that out before we look at this, because I'm not gonna go through this in depth here. And we are going to, oops, we are going to animate this mask path here, which I have yet to complete. Come over a few frames, come up, drag it. So Jake is in the picture, we might have to move it some. And after I am done masking Jake's path throughout the clip here. All right guys, so I finished the very brief masking. It's not good. You guys can do a better job if you really wanna take the time to mask it all out. For this case, I'm not going to do that. So. This is what the result looks like. Now, as you can see, you can almost, actually you can't almost, you can see, if I can take this off, the harsh lines where the mask is. And this obviously doesn't look very good. So some things we're gonna have to do over here is we're gonna want to bump up the feathering here. So it's really hard to kind of see where those lines are at. So if I went to mask path, now it's gonna feather from probably here to here. Yeah, as you can see, it's feathering quite a bit, even into Jake, but that's kind of good because we want that ghosting effect. So as you can see, it's gonna feather Jake and the scenery right here, which almost creates this ghost-like feel. So that's good. The next thing that you can do is you can take the opacity even further down to maybe 30%, so it's very faint. But as you can see, there's a ghost of Jake following him. And there, it's quite hard to tell that there's even that you've masked him out of the same clip. And he kind of sneaks up on him here. If I had to, I probably would have offset the clip a little more. And maybe even put a different, you know, weight. Maybe, maybe uh, slow it down a little bit so he's not overlapping him. But that is the ghost effect, guys. And you can do this for multiple clips. You can copy this clip again and you can come back up and you can do the exact same thing. And actually, if you really wanted to make it easier on yourself, copy the clip that you had just masked, bring it up here, take that clip and maybe add a, well, there should be a transform to it here and maybe offset that transformation even more and possibly lower the opacity even more and you should end up getting three jakes here you're gonna have to move the mask out but 
you can make as many ghosts as you would like. You can make it stand still. All you have to do is pause that clip, hold that clip steady at a certain frame, and you have then Jake standing still. You can speed it up so he runs into himself, so it's almost like the ghost comes out of him and runs into himself. There's very multiple things that you can do with ghosting. So if you guys like that, please hit the like, please subscribe, please comment. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Stay tuned for some, for some more. Blah, 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 blah. Stay tuned for some more tutorials and some upcoming videos. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.